Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. It could be anywhere in the body at all. Wherever it's clearest, focus your attention there. Then watch it for a while to see if long breathing feels good. If it does, you can keep it up. If not, you can change the rhythm, change the texture. Make it faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, more shallow. Try to find what breathing feels good for the body right now. It's a process in the body that has a lot of potential. We just let it go on automatic pilot for the most part. While we're often thinking about other things, doing other things. But if you pay attention to the breathing process, you find that it can make, create a sense of true well-being inside. Maybe you can run into parts of the body that are painful that you can't change by the breathing, but there are parts that will respond to the way you breathe. So focus on those. This is the key to building powers of endurance and powers of patience, which the Buddha said are a blessing. It may sound strange. We think of blessings as things that are happy and desirable, but endurance and patience that reminds you, okay, there are a lot of things in the world that are not going to be happy and desirable, and yet you want, don't want your mind to be swayed by them. There's aging, illness, and death. There's separation from those we love. And so what do we have? We have our actions. And if our mind is weak in the face of pain and hardship, then it's going to start doing and saying things that it's later going to regret. In the meantime, it suffers. But you don't have to suffer in this world, even though there's plenty of things that are painful. But the mind doesn't have to suffer from them. That's the key to the Buddhist teachings. And in teaching us endurance, he's not just saying, just suck it up. He's basically saying, well, there are other things you can focus on. Even though there may be difficult things in life, there are parts of the, your experience that you can make pleasurable. And learning how to breathe in a comfortable way is one of those. Because the breath is always there. It's always coming in, always going out. It's yours. They haven't learned how to privatize the breath yet. So while you've got it, free. Take advantage of it. And that way, when you find a sense of well-being inside, then when there are difficulties outside, you're not overwhelmed by them. You know that you have your safe place in the storm. So learn how to develop this quality of knowing to be with the breath, taking advantage of the breath, and then learning to think in ways that make you not so upset by the changes in the world. After all, you've got this human body. When you signed on for it, you didn't look carefully at the fine print. But it is subject to pain. It is subject to illness. And someday it's going to die. And you have to learn how to accept those facts, but you don't let them overcome the mind. Again, you don't have to suffer from them. But you'd have to remind yourself that this is the nature of the world. There are going to be pains in the body. Something else that we didn't think we signed on for was that a lot of human beings have very un unskillful speech. There are people who say things with goodwill, but there are also people who say things out of ill will. There are people who say things that are true, people who say things that are false. So what are you going to do? We have to learn how to accept this is the way it is with human speech. So when something Someone comes up to you and says something that is false or out of ill will. Remind yourself, okay, this is part of the human realm. I don't have to feed off of those person's words because I've got something better inside. That's one of our problems in life is we don't feel well nourished inside, but a sense of well-being. And so we look for well-being outside, hope that other people will praise us, hope that other people will say nice things. But they have the right to say anything they want to with their mouths. And being human beings, they can say all kinds of things. So we have to learn how to remind yourself, okay, this is the way it is with human speech. It's nothing out of the ordinary, nothing extraordinarily outrageous about people saying things that are hurtful and harmful. But you don't let, have to let yourself be hurt or harmed by them. So learn how to think about them. If they say something unpleasant, just tell yourself an unpleasant sound has made contact to the ear. And let it stop at the ear. Let it stop with the contact. If it goes beyond that, it's, it's not what they said, it's not what you're saying to yourself at that point. And that way you're weighing yourself down. It makes it difficult to endure things like this. So again, the endurance lies in learning how to focus your thoughts in the right places, focus your awareness in the right places. And you find that you have the strength inside to put up with all kinds of things that you wouldn't have expected otherwise. When you can put up with these things, okay, then you can act skillfully. Act with thought, act with circumspection, because you're not feeling pushed around by events. You're coming from a good place inside, so create that good place inside. It's going to be your protection. 
not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but uh, as you go through life in general. Maintain your good place inside, and you protect yourself from all kinds of things. <laughs>